Hello Capricorn, welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. We've got timeless messages coming out here for you from Archangel Michael. We're going to see what he wants you to know, what he wants you to give a heads up about, and what he's helping you with right here, right now. Now this is a timeless reading, so whenever this is meant to find you is exactly when it will. So trust in the messages that you are getting. But let's get right into it and see what we've got coming out for you guys First up, we've got Archangel Michael is with you now. Ooh, excellent. Even though you can't see it, I am actively working on this situation. I am here helping you, okay? You don't necessarily have to call in your angels, spirits, and guides to get their guidance, to get their help, to get their protection. Sometimes they show up just when you need them the most. But Archangel Michael is here with you now. Is there something that you're trying to let go of? Something that you're trying to heal from? Something you're trying to work through? Some important decisions, life-altering, life-changing decisions that you're trying to make at this time. Is there something here that you're afraid of? Something that you want to change? Something that you want to try? Whatever it happens to be, Archangel Michael is right here right now. Call upon him. Ask for a sign. Um, ask for help. Because he's right here giving it to you now. Be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. Now it may be that Archangel Michael is showing you your path, your sole purpose. It is amazing when we figure out why we're here. When we figure out what soul contract that we've signed upon this earthly realm that we reside in. Some of us, we have been here many, many times. And your only purpose here is just to live your best life and be happy. Great. Some people have signed up for a very difficult life cycle, a very difficult soul contract. Some of you are on a healing journey. Some of you are on a spiritual journey some of you are here to help humanity with technology whatever it happens to be but you are being invited here and you're being asked by archangel michael to be a light to other people there's something that you know something that you've experienced something that you have wisdom for or some unique talent or gift that is just yours and you're being asked to share now, it doesn't have to be like something that'll change the world, right? It can be something that just changes someone's life in some small way. Perhaps part of your gift, part of your talent, part of your way to be the light to other people is by uh, training. Maybe you have a gift of teaching. Some of you are healers by trade or by design, <laughs> by the universe, by the powers that be. This could be a physical healer like a doctor, a nurse, a physiotherapist, a chiropractor, dentist even. You could be a spiritual healer, energy healer, Reiki practitioner, that kind of thing. Maybe you're drawn to anything in those realms, a naturopath, right? Connect with the earth and with healing energy. But whatever your situation is, somebody or many people in some way may look up to you. Maybe they just see your drive and determination and you motivate and inspire other people. You might not set out to do it, but it might just be something that happens. Whatever it is, share your light into the world. Don't hide in the shadows. It's your time to shine so that other people can learn from you or follow in your footsteps. Follow your heart. We've got St. Francis coming in here. Now, of course, St. Francis was known to be especially uh, kind and loving to animals. And so perhaps some of you, um, part of your path in this life is to connect with animals in some way. Now, some of you could actually be um, an animal communicator, a healer, maybe you're a vet, or you want to be a vet or a veterinary assistant or volunteer for some sort of um, uh, animal group like the SPCA or, you know, foster, maybe foster uh, um, a pet that's up for adoption or something. So it could be something here that really speaks to your heart. 
and it may possibly involve animals. Whatever your situation is, though, doesn't have to involve animals. Whatever your situation is, though, Archangel Michael wants you to follow your heart, to follow your bliss. This doesn't have to be a life-changing event. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you've got to throw everything that you've built in your life out the window so that you can follow your heart. For some of you, that might mean that. But for the most part, what makes you happy? What brings you joy? What puts a smile on your face? What makes you feel warm and calm and at peace? What makes you feel as though you've helped humanity or helped the planet or helped the animal realm in some way? Follow your heart. Our heart has the, a huge capacity for love, for compassion, for kindness, for creation. So what do you want to do? You're being called in some sort of direction here. You're being shown a path. You're being shown a way. Watch for um, watch for animals or insects or birds in places where you may not necessarily expect. Perhaps you think that you know there's no doors opening for you and you just can't catch a lucky break, and then the next thing you know, a black cat crosses your path. Now, I personally, there's some cultures that don't believe that black cats are lucky. I subscribe to the one that black cats are very lucky. They are a good omen, not a negative one. I have a black cat. He is very lucky. He's very lucky. He's a spoiled brat. But, um, but I, do th I do believe that black cats bring luck. So if you think that you're down on your luck or you're just not feeling good and then a black cat crosses your path, this could be a good omen of good things and good fortune and some luck to come. If you're feeling down, you're feeling sad, perhaps a white dove flies in front of you somewhere. So watch for messages and signs that may come from the animal spirit realm. Clarity, big picture, perception, perspective, eagles. The universe works in mysterious ways, and when we're open to seeing and recognizing the signs, something clicks a little bit. But whatever your situation, follow your heart. We have chaos to change. Ooh, look at that. And we've got a sunshine by the looks of it on there, but that doesn't look like he's just sitting there. He looks like he's all loosey-goosey, all moving around, all flippy-floppy. Chaos to change. In times of profound change, it feels like our world is falling apart. It feels like nothing will ever be the same again. And in reality, nothing will ever be the same again because it's not meant to be. Out of chaos, out of uncertainty, out of turbulence comes change. Change can be hard. Change can be messy. But when we come out the other side and we pick up the pieces, we recognize why something needed to change. So some of you have something that you want to change right here, right now. Maybe you're going through some changes right here and it feels crazy. It feels chaotic. You feel uncertain, afraid. Remember, Archangel Michael is here with you right now. You didn't ask for him necessarily, but maybe you did subconsciously. Maybe you did in your dreams. Who knows? But Archangel Michael is here helping you to navigate some change and come out the other side and see why it was necessary. Because we don't always recognize why change was necessary or why, some, especially if we weren't like the mastermind of it. We don't always recognize the benefits of change um, until we do kind of look back a little bit, until we the dust has settled down a little bit. But we are living in in times of great change internally within us. You're part of the collective. We're raising our vibration. We're expanding. The more people that embrace the light, embrace this expansion of collective consciousness, the better the world will be. But we have to go through these times of turbulence to break down the order, to break down the structure, to break down existing systems that are not working. Maybe they worked at one time. Or maybe they just work better than what was in place previously. So it looked like it worked well, but it really didn't anyway. But we're breaking all those things down. And it is chaotic and it is uncertain. And it is a little bit frightening at times. 
But we have to go through this in order to facilitate change. But this is things changing within you, and this is you recognizing things that are changing externally as well. But Archangel Michael wants you to know that, yes, it's chaotic right now. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's uncertain. We don't know where things are going to land. You don't know where the chips are going to fall necessarily. But things had to hit a catalytic point somewhere in order for the pressure cooker valve to pop right off and to explode because you couldn't stand the pressure anymore. Right? There's better times ahead. There's doors opening for you. There's portals opening for you. There's growth. There's new beginnings. There's healing. There's light. There's all kinds of wonderful things opening up. But we've got to go through the chaos to get there. But Archangel Michael is here with you every single step of the way. Now, if you have been going around in circles and knowing that there's something that you want to change, something that you need to change, but maybe you just haven't had the courage to do it, or maybe you've been waiting for a perfect time. <laughs> The time is now. You might have to really tap into your inner strength. This is card number eight. Eight relates back to the strength card, depending on the deck you're using. That you have the unlimited potential, the unlimited strength that you need to make the changes that you want to make. So the time may be now. We have the conscious observer. There you go. Light code activating for you now. Okay. This is a reminder that sometimes we need to be a little bit discerning as to when to take bold, inspired action and when to take a step back, observe, and, obs and uh, assess a situation. Because we do kind of need the big picture sometimes, or we do need to kind of scan the horizon, scan our surroundings, and just kind of, you know, see things from that higher perspective, see things from that bigger perspective, because this is how we kind of can connect with the right direction that we want to go in. So this is about making a conscious effort to observe something, see the truth before taking action. There may also be some things that are really getting shaken up in your environment, in your surroundings. Maybe they involve you directly, maybe they don't. So the conscious observer message that's here is about seeing the big picture, seeing the things from other people's perspective, right? Or just observing the landscape. You might be in a situation where you don't have to do anything. You just need to be aware. And you just have to have an open open eyes and open heart, right? And you observe your situation. Because after that time of observing, the chips fall where they may. You may need to get out of your comfort zone and make some changes. But take a step back and observe and, and assess before jumping to conclusions. Make sure you see the truth of things that are around you. And if you, if, if necessary, avoid getting involved in situations that really don't pertain to you. Don't get involved in other people's drama unless you are called upon to do so. Because part of this being a light to others could be that your gifts may involve helping other people resolve their differences, like a mediator, if you will. Because you have the ability to see things from multiple perspectives. It's a powerful gift. It is a very powerful gift. So through observing the chaos and changes that are happening to other people or in other environments, this can be where it's your opportunity to shine in some way. But otherwise, don't get involved in other people's drama. Just be that observer. We have the body, the center of self-perception. That beautiful light coming off of these. These are the living light cards, by the way. So they're all kind of like light code activations. They're really kind of very interesting. This almost reminds me, <laughs> this almost reminds me of Aries symbol, except it's um, uh, the uh, flipped upside down. 
But this activation that's here for you, the center of self-perception, this is your sacral chakra. Okay, this is your second chakra, right above your root chakra. Okay, this is the energy of trust, intimacy, creativity. This is where you figure out how you are perceived by others, but also how others are perceived by you. This gives you a good sense of self to move forward, to create change, to start something new, to let things go. Even when you're not, even when you don't necessarily have all the answers, right? Because you're trusting yourself. So work with your sacral chakra. You can do some guided meditations. You can work with some crystals. Um, you can talk to Archangel Michael to help you make sure that your chakra is in your open, healthy, balanced, and receptive state. That this can be that chakra there that you are being asked to focus on. So some of you are getting ready to open yourself up to change or something or someone new. But how you perceive yourself and how you perceive situations is very important. So let's get some more cards. We have the dark. Take a moment to sit under the star-speckled sky, listening to crickets and breathing in the cool night air. I don't know if you are a stargazer or not. Um, I am. But when we look up at the sky, when we look up at the stars, or at a solar eclipse maybe, uh, with glasses on, by the way, um, we kind of feel more connected with the universe when we look up at the night sky. Number one, you might see some weird things, right? You could see some weird lights in the sky, shooting stars, comets. Um, I think you can see the International Space Station depending on where you are and what time of night it is. Um, but there's kind of a little bit of magic in the night sky, isn't there? But we feel more connected with the universe as a whole. So part of your journey or part of your enlightenment path or part of expanding your mind and raising your vibe may be to just simply sit and look at the sky. It sounds a little bit counterproductive in its simplicity, but it's really quite powerful. We have breakthrough. For a star to be born, it must first collapse. This is not your destination. This is your birth. There's that chaos to change. The sun is a star, right? Sun on this card. Breakthrough. Something has to be broken down for something better to begin. So even if you need to break some things down, even if you need to create a little bit of chaos, even if you're going through something right now, trust that there's a breakthrough on the other side. We have expand. Growth is often uncomfortable and messy and excuse me, let me try that again. Growth is often uncomfortable and messy, but necessary. Yes, it is. Got to get out of our comfort zone there, people. Nothing exciting ever happens in our comfort zone. It's just something we're used to, um, whether it's something we want anymore or not. But we do get used to certain things. We do get comfortable in certain situations, right? But our comfort zone quite often isn't actually all that comfortable. Expand your horizons. This is a time of growth, of change. This is a time to get out of your comfort zone and break on through to the other side. Hey, the door said that. There we go. Some angel messages here for you. You're alone, but you feel someone caressing your hair or gently touching your back. The angels are giving you a needed nudge forward. Accept their encouragement. Have you ever had that happen to you? Share your experiences. People like to know these things. People, people quite often have these weird experiences and they think they're going nuts, right? They're like, I don't know, I think I'm going crazy. The more we talk about these things and the more we share our experiences, 
the more we realize how much we are actually not alone at all and how common it actually is. It's very enlightening. Here's your next card. A white feather in an unexpected location assures you that you're on the right path and that you're not alone. There's a lot of guidance and a lot of protection around you guys right now. It's really good. Rainbows. I love rainbows. Rainbows are special gifts from the angels. They are spreading their magnificent light as, as a bridge to guide you past your troubles and onto your next level of your journey. Rainbows are always a little bit mystical, a little bit magical. And rainbows come in. The sun is trying to come out as the storm is still happening. Breakthrough. Magic. Unlimited potential and possibilities. So you might see a rainbow in your journey. I've been asked to leave that there, so I will. I hope there was something here, even a little bit, that resonated you, with you in some way or if you just enjoyed your reading. If so, please take a moment to press that like button. I truly appreciate that. Um, if you enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel and share your experiences down below. A lot of people just awakening on their journey and they're navigating this ascension. And, you know, a lot of people are just, they just don't know what to believe. They don't know what to expect. And it's a little bit different for everybody. But again, the more we share our experiences, the more one we become with other people. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.